Okay, I'm going to do this one a little differently, and um, the reason for that, you see variations, and you realize that there's not one path to the end, there's multiple. So I'm going to do it by substitution. u is equal to x over y. So if I look at the first equation, it would be u plus 1 over u, and we've seen this many times before, by the way, is minus 10 thirds, right? So I would multiply both sides by 3u, so you get 3u squared plus 3 minus 10u, and then you get 3u squared plus 10u plus 3 equals 0. This would be 3u, u, 3, 1 equals 0, plus, plus. Relatively simple factorization. What do you get? u equals minus 3, or u is equal to minus 1 third. All right, so I want to go back, and I don't really want u. I want uh, the x and y. So x over y would be equal to minus 3. Right, now if that's the case, I want to put out x would be minus 3y then. I'm going to plug that in here because it's easiest for me to do that. And what would you get over there? Well, you get minus 3y minus y would be equal to 1, which is minus 4y is equal to 1, which means y is minus 1 quarter. So if I use this solution over here, what do you get? You get minus 1 quarter for the y. And what would you get for the x? You would get, and again, I'm using this equation over here, you get 3 quarters. All right? That's one solution. Let's do the other one. And that's going to be u is minus 1 third. So minus 1 third is equal to x over y, which means, let's take a look. That means y is equal to minus 3x. All right? So let's write that down. What do you get over there? And again, I'm using this equation because it's easy for me. You would get x plus 3x is equal to 1. 4x is equal to 1, or x is equal to 1 quarter. All right? So let's write that point down. That's x is 1 quarter. And what's the y? Well, this is the relationship I'm looking at over here. It's going to be minus 3 quarters. So let's take a look at our key, get our answer key out and a red pen, see how we did. And I see 3 quarters minus 1 quarter. Again, different technique. You can look at my blue area and see there's something differently done there. And I got this solution over here, which is 1 quarter minus 3 quarters. I want to emphasize we graph these things for a reason. We'd like you to look at those things. And I want to point out that in the first equation over here, x and y can't be 0, all right? Let's not be alarmed if you see something that looks like that. So let's take a look at the points of intersection now. I see one here. I see one here. By the way, I want to find the line first. And that's x minus y equals 1. Let me write that down for you. And what's that going to be? That's going to be y is x minus 1. All right? I want to point out what line that is. There's a bunch of lines down over there. This that line. All right, this is the line right here. All right? Now, someone's going to say, is, you know, what's this over here? Is that a point of intersection? This is, this is the graph. Let me put that in a different color for you. There's a hole here. And this is the graph of this over here. All right, remarkable, but there's a hole there. There's two points of intersection. And what are those points of intersection? They're right here, right here. Let's discuss those points for you. One point, I'll write it down for you now. This point over here is 3 quarters minus 1 quarter. And this point over here is 1 quarter minus 3 quarters. All right? It's nice to have a visual reference for the problem. You also should study graphs to see there's a visual for the actual algebra in the problem as well. Thank you.